G'day YouTube, welcome back to Browse Gaming for some more Minecraft. This is in Jar Edition and over on my friend's world, uh, Chuckles and Stewie, uh, you may have caught the live stream, we were taking on the Ocean Monuments. We wanted to uh, try to make a Guardian Farm and uh, we've been busy, so let's have a little look at what we've gotten done so far. Let me just uh, put on my armor. I do, this is dangerous this area, so let's go through and have a look. Here we go. Alright, and here it is. It is magnificent. <laughs> it uh, has, took me about Eight hours. Oh, there's phantoms. Quick, 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 quick. Time to look. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. We're in trouble. This whole area is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Quick, 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 quick. Oh no. I'm going back to the nether. No. Oh man. Oh. Okay, so a little to talk, <laughs> a little to talk about what just happened there. Um, we added guy added mods to the to the server. We've added on, um, you know, one one sleep the whole ser the we could pass the day night cycle. Uh, mob heads are introduced, and now there's a grave, so it saves your items when you die. I couldn't figure out how to get into it. I, a broken block underneath it, so I hold shift and then jump, apparently. Oh god, there's no block underneath it. Uh, okay, put the block back. Can I put the block back? I can't put... Oh no. I'm supposed to shift and then jump. Oh, did I get it? Quick, 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 Everything I had on me. All right, <laughs> this is much, a little bit more panicky than I than I wanted to be at the start of the start of the video. Oh, thank God! I literally just finished making um, my armor, so I've got Brad's hat back. I haven't named the chest plate yet. Brad's pants. 
Prez boots. Uh, I've got my sword. I still want to want to get sharpening on there, sharpness on there. Got my work pick. So we got subscribe and hit the like button. Please do so. And yeah, cool. And my bow. That's important. Bow should be up there. All right. I feel a little bit better. I can put these golden apples away. The golden apples are because this area is dangerous. Put that back in the inner chest. All right. So this is it. Uh, this is a. We followed a. I followed a tutorial. It is. The link to the tutorial is in the description. Very handy. Well, well written out. So, step by step through the tutorial, and this is what we end up with. This doesn't need to be closed, but you can keep this open as like a service log. So, right underneath. Oh, well, we can go down here and have a look. All the way down underneath, we dug out the temple, the center of the monuments, and replaced it with solar sand. The guardians spawn in, get shot up by the soul sand into our water catcher. They filter down, come through, get fed up through another water elevator. And then we have our lava sheets for them to uh, take pretty much all the damage it's going to take for them to die. Almost. And then this this good thing about this farm is you have an optional um, optional setting to either have this just as a grinder, as a XP grinder, or just collecting the um, guardian drops. So right now this dispenser is pushing out water. I'm just going to turn them off, and you can let these guys build up. I've got uh, looting on my sword, so I'm happy to kill these guys. Zooms of XP. I didn't. I didn't see how much XP I had. What levels I were at to start with, but so yeah, I can leave the water off. Uh, from the lava, then the fall damage. That's just going to kill the guardian or the dispensers push out water. They come down. The water catches them, so they don't take the fall damage. But they're still only one hit away from dying. So yeah, zooms of XP and. The precious, precious drops. I'm going to turn the water off. I'm just going to let these guys filter down now. I don't really need the XP at the moment because I have a feeling like I'm going to die. And yeah, we're getting the prismarine shards, prismarine crystals. Fish come through. There's a lot of fish, actually. The uh, raw cod is from when I kill them. Uh, they're cooked when they come down and they're still burning. And so you can have pre-cooked fish as well. Right, but the only thing about this build is it's, um, do I have food? Where's my steaks? Thank you. I want to have a look at this thing, but not die. How, maybe, uh, maybe take a quick, quick, quick nap so we can uh, get rid of the night, and that's half the problems, so we get rid of the phantoms. Oh, oh. Interesting. What monsters? Underneath, underneath here. Hmm. It is interesting. Uh, what if we put the bed up here? Okay, that works. And it's good the mod gives you your, your grave location as well, so <laughs> you can get back. So the other thing about this build, it's purely, purely. Um, can we sneak through? Quick, 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 quick. It's purely at the moment just industrial. It is just the bare bones blocks of what you need. These guardians are super mad at me. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm right here. Rack off. Oh, there's multiples. I really do not like these guys, man. Just everyone go away for a moment. I want to try to talk to the people of YouTube. Alright, everyone? One more? One more? Just everyone go up the chute and, <laughs> and die.
Okay. Anyway, so at the moment it is very bare bones. It is only the blocks. The blocks right there. There are what you need. Um, we've got the staircase. Our staircase made our wall going up. We've got our dodgy dirt cobble. I can hear him. Hey, where are you? We're trying to talk to the YouTube people. Go away. You too. Sneak up when I'm looking the other way, eh? So yeah, and you can see them coming up and going over. So I wanted to uh, make a building around this. Make this thing a nice area. It's an AFK spot as well. Uh, I need to restock my health. Go away. Come on. Really. All right, we're good. Run it. It's a bit of an AFK spot as well, so I was going to try to make it a little bit more, you know, a bit more comfortable. We're going to be hanging around here. The moment at the uh, bottom of this catchment system, there is just this open space. So I've been hiding in here, using sand to block out the glass to keep the phantoms away from me. I've just been hiding out here. But I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to get started on this build. So let's. I'll check back in with you guys when we uh, have made some progress. Okay, and it has been uh, quite a few days since uh, we first started. Let's have a look. This has been very intensive on the resources, so it's taken me quite a while. I did have a Looting 3 sword, which I was using in the XP grinder part, and that was helping move the stuff along. Then I accidentally lost it. Excuse me. Hey. Um, so I've gone, it, I feel like it's a little bit futuristic, which is kind of what I was going for. Having all the bright lights, neons. At the moment, it's, oh, just shot him into the catchment system. That's what you get. At the moment, it's kind of floating on the water and I'm going to want to build pillars down to connect. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, guys. Where are you? Go away. It's kind of just floating on the water. They're everywhere. This is going to be a nightmare when I get into doing this. I can't even see them in the dark now. Where? Fine. Let's get upstairs. <laughs> but anyway, it's kind of floating just on the water, and I want to make big grand pillars so it connects to the ocean monument below. So it feels like it's an extension on the monument. Maybe I can peek over the edge. Oh, the edge is quite big. Um, yeah, so I want to do that, which is going to be kind of like the next step, which... I'm not looking forward to it. I feel like it's going to be a word of hurt. You just even saw just standing on the surface how many guardians were attacking me. I feel like I'm going to get very frustrated during this part. And then I want to also, um, this is by no far is anywhere near complete. This is sort of just stage one. What I want to do also then is make um, like a jetty dock type thing, like a walkway um, down to the ender portal which be bigger than this two wide thing and hopefully it will be safer that I can walk up and back from the inner portal and here without having issues with the guardians so that's what we're working on next and then coming in last I want to build a kind of like a fisherman shack on this platform so it's like this feels very modern and bright with all the bright colors and then uh, scale it back a bit so hey scale it back so we can it's you know a blend it's like this this whole chamber is just going to be blasting into the roof so it's like an old shack was there and then we've um modernized it by uh, throwing in a lot of technology i think it's i think it's i think it's going to look good but we'll get back onto working with that maybe even um you might see some maybe there'll be some highlights from uh, some unfortunate incidences from, from trying to make these pillars but We'll work on that and uh, we'll check back in with you when 
that's complete. All right, guys, it has been another full real world day. I spent a lot of time yesterday working on this. It was safe to say not fun a lot of, a lot of the time. But hello, look at what we have here. I moved the ender portal around. It was facing the other direction, but now I switched it here because it central size it centralizes itself nicely on this platform and bam look at this i am very happy with the way this turned out it was a pain 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 in the butt <laughs> um so i've got all the pillars underneath going all the way down to ocean floor or as for the main capture is the to the ocean monument so it you know it, it makes a bit more sense before i put them in it does look like they were the just floating platforms and uh it only cost me one totem of undying <laughs> it was such a pain like i would have to go down into the water and place you know four blocks and then swim out of there because i'm almost dead <laughs> heal back up go in try it again i think i went through a couple stacks of arrows just trying to kill the uh guardians and in the numbers before we could go back in but yeah very good i'm very happy with this so and this is just the base this is this is the part that was not as exciting for me because now i'm going to work on building the like the fisherman style hut if you will uh that's going to in be in this area here with the storage inside and a place and a safe nice comfy place to afk from oh, i also took out the island there that was like a i just took out the put water over the top or took out the top layer so there will be one less place for mobs to spawn so everything here is half slab or in some places where it is a full block it's we got light sources everywhere so it's pretty feels like it's pretty mob safe the phantoms come through at night so a roof over our heads would be nice so that's what we're going to start working on now all right i'll check back in with you guys when we've made some progress
Oh, right. It has been a long time since I started that project. Uh, even so much so that our nether portals are now on the roof of the nether. So the guys have done some work here. Maybe we're going to work on some sort of a nether hub up on top here. It doesn't really need to be because you can just sort of fly around between the portals. They've laid out paths so you can know where you're going. It's actually pretty good, but anyway. That's not what we're here to talk about. Let's go have a look at the final results of this project. And here she is. So what I went for, I just wanted I wanted to feel like a bit of like a fishing shack that that would feel appropriate by the ocean, you know. It's made out of wood. Ow, 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 ow. Hey, come on, guys. We've, we've been through this enough. The, the platform up here is pretty safe most of the time. If you are standing near the edge, they will have a, they will have a go at you. Just excuse me while I take a snack. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love things I've learned from this project. I love this. Hey, 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 hey. Settle, buddy. I love the sea lanterns with the prismarine bricks. Great combo, the because it is accurate on the edge of it. He's still trying to get me. It's accurate on the edge of a sea lantern, and it blends up nicely. Come on! Every time I turn on the damn camera, uh, but it blends nicely. So that's a winning combo. I love that. The dark prismarine and dark oak that works really well. That's Ruth there. I've got to have another snack. Let's have, head up there and have a look. So this is a project completed for now. I mean, I might tinker and change little bits here and there. I didn't put any windows in the place because I felt like if you had rough weather out here in the ocean, you wouldn't want glass windows. So that was a design choice. It means this wall's kind of bare, so maybe you know, the big walls, I could do a bit of detailing. Put some fence gates up hanging from the roof just to make a little bit of detail. This door at the entrance, we weren't looking too far just yet, but it's like a three-way door. So first two doors go out to the pathway and then these two are side access to the walkway around thing. Nothing much going on out here. I do like this. I've just done a little bit of design pattern on there. It's, it's all right. It's no function to it. Just a little bit of design. Um, and this thing has to remain here because I wanted this is to for my interior decoration. I wanted a block there, so put that there. And then I've also included a ladder here, which is a way if you fall off the roof or if you needed to access down here. Or if you just wanted to, fish get caught in the system, as well as dolphins, unfortunately. The dolphins never make it down the track because they're more pa powerful enough swimmers that they don't get dragged down. But the fish can make it through sometimes, and the guardians, here comes one now. Oh, there's a party of them in there. They fight the current, but eventually it's too much for them. Off you go. Oh, hello, phantom. Hey, buddy! Holy crap! That almost one-shot me. God damn. Those things are tough. Oh, I'm not wearing any... Excuse me one second. I'm not wearing any armor. That's why it almost one-shot me. I was like, what? How did it... Do so much damage. All right, let's get inside, especially since it's night time. And we can follow this back around. So yeah, there's nothing much going on on the outside. It's supposed to be just a shack, just to uh, be comfortable and keep the phantoms away if we're going to AFK here. I've done a bit of a job trying to decorate out this place. This looks, it looks nice. I've put up some artwork on the wall because we have no windows. So you, you want to have something to look at. This was already here, but this looks great centralized now. This is the catchment for the, for the farm. 
So it looks nice, looks centralized when you come in and lit up with the, uh, as I said, I love this sea lanterns with the uh, prismarine bricks. It looks fantastic. Uh, storage section over here so we can store everything up. Lots of storage space for the crystals and the shards and some for the bricks, some for the glowstone and the fish are coming through cool. They're flying through and you know, I don't really want them either, I guess. <laughs> Maybe you need to make a incinerator because honestly we have cow farms and that's the best food. Besides, you know, golden carrots or anything like that, but so that's nice. Down here I get a little just a little decorations, decals, nothing nothing too over the top, just to make it feel a little bit nice. I also put some furnaces in here so if you wanted to cook the raw cods. If you are using it as an XP farm, the cook, you can also then cook up the raw cod. Get a little bit more extra XP from that. Bedroom here. This is centralized with this. It's nice portal feel. So it feels like some. Feels like it's a you know a, a traditional fishing shack, but with the modern technology coming through, feeding its way through through this tube and stuff. Uh, you know, an anvil workstation. You're in the chest. This is where you hang out AFK, sleep the night away, which you probably should do so you don't get harassed by phantoms every time you walk out the door. Because nothing else spawns here, the phantoms are the most things. Upstairs takes us to our chamber where you can... Uh, this button does nothing, that's just for, there for the symmetry, but this one will turn on the water if you want to use it as a XP farm. We have better XP farms on the on the on the server now, so this is just for gathering all the uh, prismarine gear. And upstairs, I just tucked in a little little space for an enchanting table, just in case you want to use some of your levels if you were out here using this as an XP farm. You know, chuck your levels onto your enchantment. So, yeah. I'm pretty happy with this project. It is it was completely unnecessary to even bother putting anything up here. It all you needed was this catchment system and that's it. I could have just continued spending my days just AFKing in this little hollow spot here. But I wanted to make something that looked nice and I'm happy with the way this building turned out, so yeah. Overall very happy with this. Alright, and that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, build project. I enjoyed making it. It did take a long time, but overall I'm happy with the uh, outcome. So thank you for watching. Hooroo till next time, and I'll catch you next time on Bradles Gaming.